Lucre. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to pray for some sick later, but I, I don't know this uh, uh, scripture here has really been a powerful scripture to me. And I'm going to, I may stop, but I'm going to read a couple of verses and then uh, may read the whole thing later. But it's here in Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power went about doing good, healing all. You know, if you can ever get it in your mind, healing all. Yes. Healing all. Yes, sir. Doing good, healing all. Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost went forth who went about doing good, healing all that was oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. You know, if you could ever realize, you know, most of these here uh, preachers will not tell you that that sickness is not of the devil. It is of the devil. I don't care what it is. It's the devil going about if you got some kind of a heretic thing, it's the devil put it on you. Thank God. Then here, uh, Mark, he put in this, his book here that he said unto them, go you into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. See, you can't, you can't have a revival if you don't uh, preach Jesus. All that other stuff ain't going to bring no revival. That's right. Amen. That's what's wrong now. Everybody try to go down and convert them to what they believe. Amen. So what they believe. And they went about, they oh, and, uh, and after he appeared under the cleave, they all sat at meat and upbraided him with their unbelief. And hardness of heart, because they be believe not them which had seen him after he was raised. This is after Jesus raised from the dead after they crucified. Him. He said unto them, "Go you into all the world. Yes. See, that's where we are messing up at. Mm -hmm. We want to preach where we want to preach to. Right. Jesus wants, and God wants." Ever part of the world to hear the gospel. Bible said, How can they believe in him and whom they have not heard? Talking about Jesus, and how can they hear without a preacher? And how can the preacher go except he be sent? Yes. That's in the Bible. That's what's wrong. I don't care if people don't like they, me talking about this. There ain't nothing else to talk about. Right. Jesus Christ said over there, or oh, well, the writer too, for Jesus Christ, said Jesus Christ the same yesterday, that was back 2,000 years ago, and today and forever. He ain't never changed. That whoever calls on the name of Jesus from his heart shall be saved. And by his stripes, if you believe it, you shall be healed. It's useless to run around here uh, uh, asking people to pity you. And, uh, and uh, so I feel so sorry for you. Don't ever tell me you feel for sorry for me. Thank God. Hallelujah. Pray for me that, that Jesus, if I am a hopping around, that I start jumping. Oh, Hallelujah. You say, but I don't, hear. I don't care what you don't want to hear. That's what's wrong today. That they don't want to hear what helps you. 
They want somebody to pat them on the butt and and and, and that's the truth. That's they want somebody to tickle their butt. They want somebody to tickle their eyes. They want somebody to tickle their heart. That ain't gonna do nothing for you. Hey, but one thing going to help you is the blood of Jesus Christ that died on the cross for your sins, took that laceration before they, they hung him down, and by those stripes they put on him, that's what God wants us to preach. I don't care if you preach it every day you preach. There ain't nothing else to be lifted up. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, well, they put him on the cross. They nailed him to the cross, but he didn't give up. He didn't cave in. He made him, he lifted me, put him up, talking about on the cross. How you doing? Man, I ain't seen you in ages. Prayed for you a lot. Praise God. Glory. How many know what I'm talking about? We need to put our hearts into the Lord Jesus Christ. Give him the first chance. I said, give him the first chance. I said, give him the first chance. Give him the first chance. Take your faith. Use your faith for Jesus. You'll soon find out if you come to him with a broken and a contrite spirit and calling on him and having faith and doubt not, you'll see that anything you need, a sickness, your personal survival, he will provide for you. But for us preachers All right. to have that kind of ministry, All right. we got to have on, yes, sir. put on the whole, the whole armor of God, having a whole breastplate, our chest yes, sealed with the chest, yes. Yes, sir. the righteousness, yes, sir. and what true holiness. Oh, hallelujah. How can we be holy if we don't know how to be holy? All you got to do is just surrender your heart and life to God. You can, you can live. There's people out there that live better than some of you Christians, but they don't have one ounce of salvation. You know why they, 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 they have not called on the name of Jesus or they've not joined the church with preaching Jesus? They think because they, they, they've had the money to eat healthy and in good health right. that they don't need Jesus. Let me tell you, everybody needs Jesus. I said everybody needs Jesus because hell it will, is enlarging itself. I remember f quite a few years, maybe 15 to 20 years ago, I had a vision that we were going to have the worst earthquake, one in Pell City, one in Birmingham, and, and that was going to start it off and it was going to kill multitudes of people. People laughed at me. Yes, sir. Go check your history and you'll see it. I wasn't too far in the ministry, but God said, I'm sending you, you're going to see more earthquakes. Earthquake. You know why there's earthquakes? God trying to wake us up. Yes. Yes, sir. The Bible said it. Yes, sir. The Bible said God sent strong delusions upon them because they wouldn't turn their hearts to God. God, the devil don't cause earthquakes. God do. I said God do. I said God do. God gets tired of people. Ever so often, God has to send a whirlwind in them. Or you have to send a, a storm in to, to show people in that area that you can't serve two gods. You got to serve. And then, oh, oh God, you ever help me? No, you got to serve God when there ain't no earthquake. You got to serve God when there is no whirlwind or tornado. Them kind of prayers ain't going to help you. If it happens, if it scares the devil out of you, kick him in the butt and don't let him back. Hallelujah. Start going to church. Start praying. If you don't have a Bible, you buy everything else, go get you a good King James Bible. You start reading from Matthew right on down. Hallelujah. Sometimes you might get a little of a letter there that goes back to the Old Testament, but let you from Matthew's on down to the revelation. That's the only thing going to help us. And you'll see, get a little, uh, once in a while a little letter says, 
maybe it'll go back to Genesis, maybe to some of the other, uh, just for scripture, maybe one or two scripture that was spoken by one of the apostles or one of the old prophets. Thank God back there, and they were the old prophet was speaking, and, and what God is doing now, sometimes God will, will send forth, you'll find it in the New Testament on down, that's, that that old prophet, see, with our Bible, for what we read is 2,000 years. Well, it's 6,000 years. Yeah, yeah. And it goes back yeah, to the, in the beginning God made heaven and earth. Yeah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you'll find that every book of the Old Testament, as you want to call it, yeah. well, there's it'd be something that matches That's the right. New Testament. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. It agrees. That backs you up. You know, these churches ain't got nothing to back them up. They try to back them up with Baptists. They try to back them up with Methodists. They try to back them up with this or that. That ain't going to back you up. You're going to have to have, you're going to have to go back to the old landmark. You're going to have to go back to upon this rock Jesus said, I build my church and the gates of hell came of hell against it. Hallelujah. And I'll set me up on that rock. That's when the devil's fighting you. That's when the devil's fighting people. You got to get up on this rock. What? This rock, Jesus, and the gates of hell, and all these devils cannot do nothing to you. Three times in my life, I've had people with a long barrel pistol. Right. Aiming at my heart ahead, I said, go ahead, pull a trigger. Yes, sir. It ain't going to yes, go off. Yes, sir. Snapped every time. All right. Hallelujah. I well, you are scared not one bit. All right. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Glory. I said, glory. And every one of them that happened, they fell on their face. And gave their lives to God, and later they made preachers. Let me tell you something, folks. Then it was one Lord, one faith, one God, one Savior. Hallelujah. I said, one Lord, one faith. Jesus is Lord, but God is God. Jesus is Lord, oh Lord, and God is God, and we wouldn't have Jesus unless God. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Raised up a man of God. Hallelujah. And he went over. Somehow he met Jesus' mama. And they got married and she had a little baby. And they named him Jesus. Hallelujah. But the real blood came from my heaven. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Let me tell you something, folks. Put your faith in the Lord. Bible said, have faith. Talking about in God. Talk about God, Jesus. You can't get to God without coming through the door. And Jesus said, I'm the door. You said, well, I've got. No, you didn't. You didn't call on Jesus. You just thought you'd come in. Jesus is the door. And if you didn't come through Jesus, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you get mad, get mad, and go get something and start forming like a mad dog if you want to. Hallelujah, you still didn't get to God. You got to come through the door to get real. You know why so many people's religion and the, the church religion don't keep them? They don't come through the door. Jesus said, I'm the door. Jesus said, I'm the way. And if you come up any other way, you didn't get in. Who said it? The Bible said it. And if that ain't right, ain't nothing right. Put your faith in Jesus. I said, put your faith in Jesus. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, and he went to Calvary, I'll draw people to me. These church doctrines don't draw nobody to God. You may think you get to God, you just got deceived. If you, if, you, if you got to God, you came through the door and Jesus was the door and you can't come through a door. Yes, God knows it. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, he's one. Don't you love him? Yes. Jesus said unto them, go you into all the world 
and preach the gospel to every creature. Oh, that's, I'm trying to, I hope these few days that God stirs, stirs you up. I said, stirs you up. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall get there anyhow. In the churches, but not so, saith the rest of the scripture. <laughs> he that believeth on men are baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. If you don't believe what Jesus said, and you get baptized, what he said under his word. I feel sorry for you. You ain't saved. Because Jesus don't save people and just turn them loose like a bunch of wild dogs. If you get saved through Jesus, you better go and humble yourself and get baptized and put yourself uh, in His care. He cares. I said, he cares. And the Bible said, when you get into this and get anchored and rooted, no, no, nothing, no powers will be against you. Can't do it. You'll withstand the wise of the scams of the devil. Because that's David Terrell. You'll find that where David Terrell said that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. I just want to lift up Jesus. And I ain't going to do nothing but lift up Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Put your faith in Jesus. Come through the door. If you didn't get to God through Jesus, you didn't get there. I said, you didn't get there. Glory. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Praise God. Now this door is Jesus. I'm coming through him. (laughs) Hallelujah. Go in that room there. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Here's another another door of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God. Glory. Come on out, Jesus. Hallelujah. (laughs) Praise God. You got to come through Jesus. You don't get to God unless you come through the door and Jesus is the door. Ain't that right in the Bible said you can't get to God except you come through the door and Jesus is the door. He's a tree of righteousness. He's the holiness of holiness. I said he's holiness of holiness. Without him, no flesh should be saved. Let's just down the uncountable. We know that the uncountable, God ain't going to send them down yonder. But if, as you raise them up, you need, to get, you need to start teaching them. I mean, they start getting in their teens. They may not all, but if you, Bible said bring them up in the way they should go, they got to be taught. It's making them uh, obey what you tell them. They go bring the wood in. Go build a fire. That's right. Ain't that right? Yes, sir. That ain't going to do it. You, you got to tell them to come through Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. And here's, I wanted you to see this. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. So you can see that these Methodists and, and a lot of others, they sprinkled them. All right, all right. All right. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> See, that don't baptize you. 
I said, that don't baptize you. People think that baptizes you. Glory. Hallelujah. That's a sprinkle. That don't baptize you. Hallelujah. <laughs> don't you feel the Holy Ghost? Them little sprinklers don't do it. I said, them little sprinklers don't do it. Hallelujah. You got to, you got to be baptized. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of, not Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. He said, well, that's what the Bible said. Yeah, but the name of Father, Son, the Holy Ghost is who? Jesus of Nazareth. Father is not a name. Holy Ghost is not a name. Father is not a name, but Jesus is a name. That's the only name to be baptized with. That's the only name that you can call upon and get an answer to to heaven. That's the only name that you can cry out to God and say, God, I want you to save me. I want you to sanctify me. I want you to heal me. I want you to help me get started. I need some help. Even if it's in the natural, and especially if you want to do something for God, go to God. Try him first with faith. You're a child of God. God will make a way for you. You don't have to go cheat. You don't have to go lie. Thank God will make a way. If you come through the door, he'll make a way for you. Are you already made the way? Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the lie. And he said, no man, no man and woman can come to the Father except by me. Amen. Don't you believe that? Yes, sir. Amen. God's good. Yes, sir. I said he's a good God. Yes, he's almighty yes. of heaven and in earth. Yes. He that come to him, he said in no wise I'll cast out. This brother right over here. Thank the Lord. You know, he has uh, many times God uh, through him has, as he uh, told people about this gospel. Yes, sir. Thank God. Thank you. God sent me to him when he was just coming up. Thank you, Jesus. That's right, about Jesus. And Jesus is the only way, the only healer, the only deliverer. There's no salvation at all but through Jesus Christ. And he'd been around ahead of me in revivals and, and so forth. And Ted said, you need to go to this. That if anybody comes in a tent or building, he will, he will bring you through the door. He will teach you about a man called Jesus. There is no other name under heaven. The Bible itself said, well, you must be saved except through the name of Jesus. Right. Yes, sir. Well, what about all of you? What about them? <laughs> Go to hell and see if they got to heaven. Go up there and see if you got to heaven. Didn't go down yonder. You, 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 when you get there, you see them. If you don't come through the door. <laughs> you would to God you did say come through the door. You would to, you would to God that you did believe that Jesus is the, the fullness of salvation. That there's no other name under heaven whereby you must be saved except by the name of Jesus. Do you know that's in the scriptures? Call. Bible said, whoever calls on the what? The name of Jesus, but you got to come from the heart, shall be saved and also healed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you believe it, you could be doing it right now. Yes. He that believe it is baptized shall be saved. He that believe it not shall be damned. And these signs yes, shall follow them that believe. Yes. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any daily thing they should think it shall not hurt them hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover now he's not talking about snakes he's not talking about them crawling serpents 
The Bible, you read other places where people that rebel God, they're called serpents. Vipers. Only Mark here is called them a snake. But vipers. And, and, and because people are rejecting God. Call upon Jesus Christ. He's at the right hand. I tell folk about every night I preach every day that Jesus is at the right hand of the Father 24-7 making intercessory making intercessory to them that believe. As many as call upon His name. And He said these signs will follow them that believe. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, set on the right hand of God, and they went forth. Verse 20, the last verse. They went forth preaching everywhere. The Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs following otherwise that first group 2,000 years ago laid the foundation that the first fruits, these signs, meaning they went forth healing the sick, raising the dead. You'll find in the scripture where they, they, even in Paul's day, you know, Paul first persecuted him and Paul had people under him. He took up Jesus and lifted up Jesus. Thank God and he had preachers under him and they went forth everywhere. We wouldn't be here if it hadn't been like Paul and John. John the Baptist was good, but there was another John that wasn't a Baptist. John the Revelator. Thank God. John the Baptist, he, he helped get the foundation. But John the Revelator wrote the book of Revelation and the books of John. Thank God. Hallelujah. He, they give us a foundation that if you're upon this rock, I build my church. And you'll find out when the hell devil come against you, the gates of hell, the gates of the devil cannot prevail against you and stop you. You can stop the devil right there where you're at. You can, you can get delivered. You can walk out of here with a faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you need a healing, you can walk out of here and believe it, doubt it not, and it'll go away. Sometimes they're instant, but sometimes it's gradually. That's right. Even the ones that doctors work on, it takes sometimes a, a, over weeks you can't go to work yes, sir. when the doctors cut you up. But if you put your faith in Jesus, as if you put your faith in Jesus, hallelujah, you'll come a lot more getting delivered before what the doctors do. I'm not against the doctors. That's right. That's right. Some of them what they're for, as far as I'm concerned, they're for the folks that, that don't know about Jesus. Uh -huh. All right. Hallelujah. Well, that didn't go nowhere. So then they, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven, set on the right hand of the phone, and they went forth preaching everywhere. All right. All right. Preaching everywhere. <laughs> didn't have to be, it didn't matter what it was. I'm one of them. Preaching everywhere. The Lord working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Amen. Glory. Thank God. And I've got over 60 something years invested. I'm 85 years old the other day. But I feel as good as I did when I was 25. Hallelujah. I just want to tell you that the God of heaven has put this word in me. Did you know I, I, how much cool I got? I was in the hospital as a crippled child till I was 11 years old, dying with bone cancer. And they didn't want me to die in the hospital. They sent me home on an Easter Sunday. And, and they told my mom, said, oh, he won't live through April, which was on Easter. But I lived October and a man came. I got down to about 31 pounds. Yes, sir. A man came to our house, to Mama's bed. Well, she was dead. I was laying there at the foot. 
And he came to that bed where she was and woke her up. And that man looked like that Jesus of Nazareth. Stood there, I'll never forget him. Thank God.